Hello beauties, what's up Bendy Babes? Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna taste a little bit of tea. I have my Sips by April subscription box. Thank you so much Sips by for sending these to me as PR. Uh, these are amazing boxes. You've heard me say it every month. Um, it's a tea subscription box. And if you're not uh, a tea drinker, please just watch. You may turn into one. I remember when I was a child, I really didn't like uh, tea that much. And then all of a sudden I started drinking Lipton tea with lemon and I started liking it more and more. What Sips Buy is, it's a tea subscription box that'll come to you monthly. It costs $15, but with my code KENDY5, you can get $5 off your very first subscription. This subscription will give you 15 cups of tea if you receive what you absolutely can use the tea bag at least three times um, when you make your tea, you get 45 cups of tea. Each month you'll get four premium teas from around the world and you'll get a little taste of tea grown in different areas, which I love. It's like traveling to other parts of the world and tasting a tea, which is a, a, a natural growing plant in all these different countries. So, I want to show you what was in my April subscription box, and I actually have two cups of tea in front of me that um, I'm trying out. I've tried all four, but I'm still uh, trying out two of them, and I'll show you what these are. So, if you want to take a look and see what these teas are all about, stay tuned. Okay. When you get your tea, your sips by, the box looks just like this. And when you open it up, you always have an amazing card. And this one says, April sips by April. And when you open it up and look on the other side, you always have your uh, personal message sent to you. That's my name actually, Kendallin. And four different teas each month. And you also get offers at, from these brands to get discounted prices on tea. If you like the tea, you can also get more at a discounted cost. Once you join, you do your quiz. Your quiz will ask you different things like how do you brew your tea? There are several ways to brew. Don't worry about that. I do water in my either my Keurig or in my microwave, and I always sip my teas that way. I get loose and tea bags because that's no problem either. If you get loose tea, they send you one of these. And what this is, this outside bag is reusable. You can use it, then empty out the tea and hand wash it and reuse it. Plus inside this bag, they have several throwaway tea bags that look like this. You put your tea leaves inside, pull this drawstring and use this as your tea bag. I get both, I get tea bags and loose teas. That way you get a better variety. They actually do you like black tea, which is normal brownish colored tea or green tea. There's several different kinds. Do you like caffeinated tea or uncaffeinated or both? I like both, but more caffeinated teas. The quiz gets you everything that you possibly can want in a tea. And as you go on with your different teas, you might learn, hey, I don't really like green teas. I want more black tea. So you can redo that quiz at any time and they will tell you in your next box, you will get exactly what you want. Okay, so let's take a look at the teas that I received in April. The first tea was by a brand called Armad Tea. And I'm very familiar with this brand. They have some really good teas. And this one, this particular one in the box is the peach and passion fruit tea. Now this tea has black tea with peach and passion fruit pieces in it. And it, it's high caffeine. They always tell you how to brew it, which caffeine level it is, and what's in the tea on your little card. So you want to keep each and every one of these. Ahmad tea, they are well known because they supply tea to the royal collection, which includes Buckingham Palace. So they always make me feel like I'm drinking tea with the queen here. Um, just great tea. Now I did try this tea a little earlier and it's not my favorite. Passion fruit is something I'm not used to drinking or the flavor is kind of odd to me. I liked it. I drank the whole cup, but if I were to pick a tea to purchase, it wouldn't be that one just because of that. 
Um, I like the other thing, the peach, but I'm not too keen on passion fruit. British tea looks like the Ahmad tea. It's a beautiful package. It looks just like this with the, the passion fruit and peach on it. And it's a tea bag. And looking at this tea bag, I would definitely receive it at least three times. Okay, the next tea, and they offer, if you're a member, you can get 20% off plus free shipping with code SIPSBY20 from Amad Teas. The next one is the Raspberry Rose Oolong. Now this is by the brand Tea Head. And it looks like this. I taped up the bag because I did try it and I wanted to show y'all the bag. Actually, my husband taped it up for me. It smells wonderful, wonderful. This one I loved. It has the flavors of oolong tea, which I love. It's just a certain type of uh, tea leaf. It's got pink rosebuds, rose petals, raspberries, pink cornflowers, blossoms, and natural flavoring. This one was a medium caffeine and it's a juicy raspberries and seductive rose pear perfectly together in this luscious oolong that can be enjoyed steamy, hot, or ice cold. And they also give you several how to seep it cold here. You can do it overnight. So it has different directions and the flavor was just amazing. And the aroma with those rose petals and rose buds. Oh, I loved it. This is one of my favorites in the box. Now, right here, I have this next tea. It's called Elderflower Citrus. And if you're not sure what an elderflower looks like, I have some up here for you to see. And it's by the brand Stash Tea. And I've tried some of theirs before. Um, this one is white tea, chamomile flowers, natural elderflower flavor, and natural yuzu flavor. If you don't know what yuzu is, it's up here. Now, it's supposed to taste like grapefruit, a touch of grapefruit. Yuzu is grown in either Korea or Japan, and they use it to flavor ve vegetables when they cook them. So that was a new one to me. And uh, I have it here. It was brewed uh, hot with, I'm using artificial sweetener and a little bit heavy cream. So here we go. Ooh, I love the flavor. It's, um, I can taste the cinnamon and I'm not sure the citrus flavor must be the yuzu. It has a wonderful smell, but I love the way it tastes. Not bad. It's different though. It's very different. Now the very last one, the fourth one on the list is the Marfa Dark Roast Yapon. And this one is by Cat Spring Yapon. And it's grown in Texas. With the Texas sunshine and rain, the Yapon. Do you know Yapon is the only native plant of United States that has caffeine in it. I read that about it because I wanted to see what it was. And to my amazement, I had two yawpine trees in my front landscaping. I have since removed. One was removed because we enlarged our driveway and we needed to take the flower bed down. The other one was in front of my son's bedroom. And this, this tree is very pretty. It has these holly looking beads on it, as you can see in the pictures. But it's like, it has a stalk of the tree, but several stalks keep growing all over in the, in the wood on it is rubbery. So we got tired of the tree. The tree was growing out of control because I'd fertilized the other plants around it. We ended up pulling that tree up and trying to put something smaller, but I was surprised. Uh, I think you, you used the leaves on the tree. We could have had some yopine tea with the, with the leaves from the tree. But in this tea, it has, the, okay, all it, it's yawpine grown in Texas, and it contains caffeine, naturally sweet and smooth. This dark roast yawpine plays homage to the iconic West Texas town of Marfa. Yawpine is the only caffeinated herb native to the U.S., and I could get 20% off with the code SIPSBY to purchase more of this tea. Now, 
I did put artificial sweetener and I always put a little dash of milk, so, uh, heavy cream now. And let's see. I like the flavor. I think they take the leaves of the tree and dark roast them and then they make them into um, a tea leaf. Now let me show you, uh, this is the stash, the one I showed you earlier. Let's see, my monitor went off. Okay, oh, come on. Okay, this is the stash tea we had earlier in the other cup. And this one we just opened and it looks like this. It's a loose tea. Now when you smell this loose tea, let me bring it closer and see. When you smell this loose tea, let me see what it smells like. It has a little... It's got a distinct little flavor, uh, smell. And it's kind of powdery, as you can see back here. This is what it looks like. It kind of looks like coffee. It smells like coffee. I think it's because it's dark roasted, but it smells so good, so good. I would say I like this one better than the stash. It's um, It's got a richer flavor to it. And man, it's native to the US, so I like that. You may have some Yupon growing in your landscape and you might not know it. Before you start drawing the leaves, make sure it's the right plant and learn how to do it. And another thing you gotta watch, if you're spraying any kind of in um, pesticides on it or their mosquito spraying. You have to be very careful about plants outdoors. It's really scary. But anyways, my four teas this month were a thumbs up. One I didn't like as much as the others, but I love this tea box. It's, um, it's a great way to sit down with your family and say, hey, let's sit down. Let's have a, a cup of tea and, and just talk. Um, I don't drink coffee anymore. I strictly drink tea. I just love the different flavors in the tea bags and I love tasting different flavors from around the world so if you would like I have the link below you're never obligated to stay with a, a sips by subscription box all you have to do is click on that link you can get your first box with code candy five five dollars off so you'll get your first box for ten dollars and I think you'll be hooked though once you get your first box but you can cancel at any time it's a great way to send a box to a family member, somebody who has everything. This is the perfect gift. Right now, Sips By has some amazing boxes that they're selling. They had a sale going on. They had like a caffeine box, you know, different boxes they had curated um, that are really good right now. So if you're interested in that, hit the link and go check out their shop. They have their store. They have amazing tea boxes. So. Thank you all for watching. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure you are subscribed still to my channel because YouTube keeps unsubscribing people. And please hit that like button if you liked my video. And until next video, you take care. And I love each and every one of you guys. Bye.